Today, the essential question that we're going to be focusing on is what impact humans have had on the environment. Um, and then in terms of human impact, um, humans have affected the environment regionally, locally, and globally through the following methods, um, throughout agriculture or farming, through land development, um, in terms of land use and deforestation, and through industry in developing factories, um, things of that nature. Um, and then in terms of impact, we're going to be taking a look at <clears throat> the impact humans have had on natural resources, such as the soil, water, and the atmosphere. Now, in terms of uh, resources, there, there are two types. There are renewable and non-renewable resources. Um, renewable resources are resources that can be produced or replaced by a healthy ecosystem. Or in other words, there's an, an unlimited and infinite supply of these renewable resources. Um, some of these renewable resources include things like uh, wind, solar, geothermal, and hydroelectric. Okay, there's, there's an abundant supply of these um, forms of resources or, or energy that would be um, a lot better for the environment rather than using some of the, the non-renewable resources that we currently use a lot of. And non-renewable resources, um, uh, natural processes cannot replenish or replace these resources in, in a reasonable amount of time. So um, as a result, there's, there's a limited or finite supply of non-renewable resources. Um, and these non-renewable resources include the fossil fuels that we use. So things like coal, which we don't use as much of as we did um, in the early 1900s and, and late 1800s, um, but we still use coal. Um, natural gas, also known as methane. Um, and there's also one missing from um, this list, excuse me, also uh, petroleum or oil. So from petro petroleum or oil is where we produce things like gasoline. Um, so a lot of the energy that we currently still use in the U.S. is through fossil fuels. And you're going to see that um, it's, have, it's, it's had a negative effect on the environment, mainly through global warming, um, pollution, uh, things like that. Okay, so there's been a lot of impact on the soil. Okay, so soil is important because a healthy soil supports agricultural farming and, and forestry. So farmers depend on a healthy soil to grow their crops, you know, things like wheat um, and corn and, you know, things of that nature. Um, also, the, the trees in the forest, they reduce the amount of carbon dioxide or CO2 um, in the environment through photosynthesis um, and release oxygen as a byproduct into the atmosphere. And we use the oxygen, organisms use the oxygen for cellular respiration. Okay, the, the soil um, also and the forest provide a habitat for organisms, and it also helps to, to regulate the temperature and the climate in the area. Um, the forest also provides food for organisms. Um, but because, you know, humans have, you know, cut down trees for, you know, to build homes and land, you know, through deforestation, um, it's, it's really had, had, it's had a negative effect on the ecosystem. Okay, here's just a, a diagram showing some deforestation um, in an area. So you see that it's going to affect the organisms. They've lost their habitat. They've lost shade. You know, the trees help to regulate the, the temperature and give some shade to the area. So um, overall, the area is going to be negatively affected. Um, now, we've also have had an impact on the water. And we know that organisms depend on fresh water for survival. You know, we need it for things like drinking, you know, for transportation, for energy, for farming. Um, but we've included, we've, we've put a lot of pollutants into the water. And um, pollutants are just harmful materials um, that have polluted or dirtied the, the water supply. And it's affected the food chain and the ecosystem. 
And the pollution has come from a variety of different things, you know, such as industrial chemicals, smoke that you see coming out of like factories, um, PCBs, which are harmful chemicals um, that's usually released in, in a lot of uh, industries and factories. And we've also um, have put agricultural chemicals. Um, we, we have uh, pesticides such as DDT um, in the soil, which is, it's now banned, but um, there's still a lot of, you know, some of the remnants of DDT in um, the environment that, you know, has just had a very negative effect on the wildlife in the area. Um, and here's some examples of a polluted um, body of water. You see the trash all over the place. Um, you see the water is, you know, not very clean. You can tell from the, the color there. Um, so we've really had a negative effect on bodies of water. Um, and then in terms of the atmosphere, um, so the atmosphere refers to the layer of gases that surrounds the, the planet. And the atmosphere is made up of several gases. It's primarily made up of nitrogen or N2. And nitrogen is an important nutrient for plants. And about 78% of the atmosphere is made up of nitrogen. Um, in the atmosphere, there's also oxygen, O2. We're very familiar with that. We need O2 for breathing. We need it for cellular respiration, which is the process that releases energy um, from the foods we eat. And about 21% of the atmosphere is made up of, um, of oxygen. And then 1% of the atmosphere is made up of all of the other gases. So gases such as uh, carbon dioxide or CO2, which is a very important gas needed for photosynthesis. And it's also a greenhouse gas. Um, that regulates the, the temperature of the earth. But we're going to talk about how um, a lot of activities that we're doing are is, is increasing the amount of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, uh, causing climate change and global warming. Uh, you also have other gases like ozone or O3, which is a very important gas that blocks uh, UV radiation from the sun. And there are other gases such as uh, methane, which is another greenhouse gas which helps to keep the planet warm. Um, now, a lot of activity has caused a lot of air pollution in the form of smog, which is a very harmful gas that um, is a byproduct of a, a lot of the factories. Um, we've also put acid rain um, or chemicals that have led to uh, the creation of acid rain. Um, we've also, we are also emitting or releasing a lot of greenhouse gases, such as CO2 or carbon dioxide, mainly from the burning of fossil fuels. That's one of the gases that's produced um, when, we, when we burn gasoline, coal, methane, um, and this contributes to global warming or climate change, because the more CO2 we're putting into the air, um, the more the heat is going to be trapped by the atmosphere. And then we also are just putting a bunch of particulates or dust and the impact has, um, has been really detrimental. So we see a lot of respiratory problems like asthma. Uh, the Bronx has, has among the highest cases of asthma because of the air quality. And there's um, also been effects on the ecosystem, the birds, the fish, um, et cetera, in the environment as well as a result of all of the, the particulates or the dust. And we have some example here, um, probably one of the biggest cases of poor air quality is in China, um, where you can see a lot of the smog in the area and it's been very harmful uh, in places like China. Now, the reason why it's so important to, to keep the environment clean is so that all the organisms um, can, can live and they can thrive. And we wanna maintain the, the biodiversity in our ecosystem. And the biodiversity refers to the total of all the genetically based variation in, in all organisms in the biosphere. So in other words, we, we want to maintain all of the variety of species that's there because they all have their, their role in the environment. And it's very important for things like medicine and agriculture and ecosystem services. Um, but because of a lot of the things that we're doing, you know, there, there are a lot of threats 
humans um, have posed on the environment, um, as I mentioned, like through deforestation, you know, with cutting down the trees, which in turn were cutting down the habitat of many of the organisms. Um, also hunting, where we're, we're removing, um, you know, we're killing uh, certain animals in, in the environment. And this has a domino effect on the, the food web. Um, we're also bringing in species that are that are not native to the area. So we're introducing these species and a lot of these species are invasive, uh, which means that they're, they're not native and typically they don't have um, any any organisms that, that feed or feed off of them. So they tend to, to take over the, the area um, and it just has like a real negative effect on the ecosystem. Um, and then, you know, because of pollution, you know, we're, we're not very cognizant of what we're doing and we're just, you know, just throwing trash everywhere and, and factories are dirtying the environment and, and the cars that we use are dirtying the environment. So all of this is having a really negative effect on the biodiversity of the ecosystem. Um, and then, um, as, as was mentioned previously, because of all of the fossil fuels that we're burning, this is leading to, to climate change and global warming. This is why we see, you know, so many forest fires, like in places like California, and why we see so many hurricanes in the Caribbean islands and in places um, like Florida, and, and Texas and places like that. Okay, so now you're gonna work on a number of problems, some old regions questions, um, some questions on the on the iPads or computers um, that relate to this topic. Thank you.